It is time to head back to class for many Oklahoma kids. And for some, that means paying extra care to their child's special needs. News Diane's Augusta McDonald tells us about one family who received an IEP, or Individualized Education Plan. Augusta? Colby Amanda, a mom whose child goes to Meeker Public Schools, has a message for anyone sending their child back to school with an IEP. An IEP is a plan to help keep kids with learning disabilities or developmental issues on track. I met with Cassie Beeson and her 12-year-old daughter, Anna, to learn about the issues they had last year. I had seven meetings with uh, Meeker Public Schools. Beeson is concerned after a year-long series of issues she had with Anna's IEP. And the reason I'm sharing Anna's story is because I don't want this to happen to another child. The events took a toll on Anna. It's taken just until now to get my happy-go-lucky little girl back. Beeson told me it took consistent advocacy on her part to report and follow up on compliance issues. She finally complained to the State Department of Education in the spring. In a letter to the district July 11th, department officials say they found several issues with how Anna's IEP was handled at Meeker, including having her placement and location changed inappropriately throughout the year. Beeson now says this. If you have questions or concerns, don't be afraid to get an advocate. Um, and you as your, um, the child's parent um, are your child's own best advocate. The State Department lines out several steps for improvement that Meeker schools must take as Anna heads back to school. I reached out to Meeker Public Schools for comment on this story and have not received a response. Live in the newsroom, Augusta McDonald for Oklahoma's own News 9. All right, Augusta.